Three times. Just got Hey, we don't make no excuses. You make it happen over here. This on the show entertainment, podcasting, broadcasting live. You always gonna run into some shit. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. When you got a dream and you got something that you're trying to build, <laughs> it's gonna always be something that throw you out. But listen, you gotta push through. You just gotta keep on going. And we bet. Bet 7:40 like we said. <laughs> we, did. we did it! It's your man, K Mac Craig Stewart. I am in the building to see you over this world to come. I am with my brothers tonight. We had a, a special episode. Episode 25. I got the main man, the DJ. brother man. Oh, oh. DJ, DJ. Holler. DJ <laughs> Holler James, goddamn it. I'm excited. It's Friday night, goddamn it. Disorderly conduct. We in the building. We building. We 25 now. We keep getting older every week. We keep getting older every damn day. <laughs> I swear I'm waking up with aches and pains and I'm just 27. Yeah, it's happening. Man. It's happening, bro. It's happening. A GB. Yes, Gabriel bro. Crutchfield is in the building yes, sir. today. My man showed up and showed out once again. Uh, my brother's in a, 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 a trench coat, a peach coat. And then, uh, I like, like that. You look very like dapper, son. Looking like <laughs> he going to uh, steal your girl and uh, assassinate you at the same damn time. Uh, <laughs> how you doing, GB? What's going on with you? Feeling good. Feeling good, brother. I'm good. If everybody that's tuned in now didn't catch the first, epi- the first try, wow. we, we doing it again. Uh, my brother here has supported me from day one of this orderly conduct when, when it came to having some content, having a, having a brother just help me out when I needed it. I always call GB. My man never said no. So I'm always, you brother, you welcome. Anytime. Real talk. Anytime. Anytime. So if Harlem can't come through one day, hey. You know, just, tag in, or, you know, tag in. You know, tag in. <laughs> keep it going. And, you know, you. that's it. That's exactly what it is, and that's how I show love, man. You've been supporting me since day one, so I give it right back. So, like I said, man, I told you from when we was in the when we was in the car, when we was at the park. Right. Said you supporting me, bro. When I get a studio, I'm having you back. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> We recording live right now on the internet. It's going to iTunes. It's going to Google Play. It's going to SoundCloud. It's going everywhere. Actually, um, we are in the building tonight. What's up, my brothers? How was y'all week this week, man? Oh man, good. Tell me some good news. Tell me the bad news first. What's the bad? I know. Y- Don't tell me you had a good ass week. Uh. It was a good ass week. It's always a good ass day. That's how I start my day. Tell me, off, man. tell me, tell me one struggle you had this week. It was a struggle to even get up this morning and go to the gym. That shit, it's cold. It's, it's cold. cold. <laughs> five feet, nigga. I wake up. I wake up at four. I go to the gym at five. It's twenty nine degrees. I'd rather be in the house sleep. It's always a struggle to get up. But if you got to handle your business, fuck that. And they got heat in the house. It's all right, man. Is everything, everything's... We good. We, we good. Fuck yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> we good. Uh, what's good with you, GB? What's going on? Oh, uh, man. Everything's good, man. Like I said, I uh, did something with my wife in October for the anniversary. We pretty much had a good time in Memphis. Enjoy that. And, you know, getting everything ready for the Christmas. You know, about to pop off in 10 days. <laughs> so it's a be love. And like I said, man, uh, constantly working, getting them bills paid, and that's a blessing just to get that done. You think what I'm saying? Man. Right. right. That's all you got to do, man. As men now here, you got to make it happen. How it happened, wherever you got to make it happen. I don't care if that's flipping burgers at McDonald's, and then you got to uh, sweep floors at a gymnasium. And I don't care how, what you got to do. As men, we are supposed to take care of our women. Am I wrong or am I right? Right. 
Okay, I'm just one of my Y'all, you hesitate. I was like, oh, hold on, wait. Look, we supposed to. Can't be off guard. I don't know. Can't do that. What's going we on? We got the, the women. She gonna come right in. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Kay is in the building. Come on in here and say hey to the camera, Kay. Hey. hey. <laughs> we got Kay in the building over here taking some pictures for us so we can put up on the website. That's disorderlyconductent.com. Save it as a favorite. Bookmark it. Make sure uh, you look, save it. Put yes. it on your home page. Make sure you save it, because that's where we're going to be uh, spending most of our time coming up here shortly. Uh, the, the future is bright for this early conduct. The reason I say that is because I got people helping me, bro, that believe in what we're doing. Like, it's people out here that believe in what we're doing. And then, of course, you got those haters that's trying to stop what you doing. We're going to speak on those haters tonight, first of all. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Don't let nobody stop your grind and what you got going on. Amen. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you trying to uh, have a popcorn stand. God damn it. Uh, if that's what you're passionate about, don't let nobody stop you. Uh, we work too damn hard <laughs> just in everyday life to be good black men. And deal with the bullshit that we have to deal with Boy. that comes with it to have to deal with all the rest of that. How, how do y'all feel, brothers? Jump in here. Don't be, GB, do not. Do, don't you get shy on me, I GB. You better unbutton that damn trench coat <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and let's talk about it. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Give me your opinion. How you feel about it, man? As men, what are we supposed to do? Like I said, we got to constantly work hard. We gotta show people that we're not just about being lazy and not doing nothing. We gotta show people that we're very uh, dedicated to what we do and we're very focused on what we're trying to do. And what that is gonna show is for some people to understand is that we are gonna stand strong and we're not gonna listen to none of the negativity or the bullcrap because that's gonna say, okay, he's serious about what he's trying to do and he's trying to do something better for himself. And sometimes a lot of people don't say something negative and try to put you to the side like, oh, he's not good or he's not working. And put somebody that ain't even worth your time in front of you. Man. So what you're going to have to do is like, okay, I'm not going to even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to outwork him and outshine him because that's what we have to do for each other and just encourage each other and constantly work on being better and being smarter than they are. Okay. I agree with you, a hundred damn percent. But this is what I want you to do. This is a hood show right now. We trapping. I want them to be able to hear what you're saying. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> just a little bit, you know. Okay. I, I want them to be able to hear what you're saying because we don't have, you know, just we making it do we, what it we do. Build it. We build it, as we always <laughs> say. Right. So I want people to be able to hear what you say. That's all. But okay. I definitely agree. I know the podcast. The podcast is gonna be lit. They heard yeah. all of that. <laughs> but I definitely want people to, to, to hear what you say. That's all. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, what you think, man? Man. You the man over here? I with feel the plan, like. 100 grand? Because I went through that same thing, man. I thought about a lot of shit this week, Craig, man. And one of them was like not following my passions. You know what I'm saying? DJing and shit. I felt. You ever felt like. Something that you can see. It's something that I love. I fucking love the DJ. Two turntables in the mixer. That's my shit. And I thought about just not doing it and just saying fuck it. And sometimes it ain't even hate, hating from other people. It's hating from yourself. Thinking that you can't do it. Not believing in yourself. Not believing in your goddamn. It's nothing. I'm my own worst enemy. I'll give you that any day of the week. I can get the most motivation from anybody, bro. But when it comes to, if I have to sit with myself one-on-one, I'll be like, God damn it. No, you shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that. And I'm, yeah, nigga, don't do that. Fuck what a hater gotta say. All the math in the day is what you what you can do and what you wanna do, man. If you love it and your heart is in it, go after it. It ain't shit you can't do. Like I tell y'all before, Donald Trump is president. Do what the fuck you wanna do. If Donald like, Trump is president, if Donald Trump president, we have no excuses. Ain't 
no excuses, goddamn it. You can do whatever. I don't give a damn what you want to do. You professional wrestler, if you want a skateboard or some Tony Hawk shit, you want to ride bikes and BMX, do it. And don't let nobody tell you shit about your podcast. <laughs> I never had a podcast before. I want to make sure I say that. God damn it. Because uh, there's a lot of people, man, that, that ain't even started a damn podcast. But would tell you how to run your shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that, I'm, I'm cool with that. But this is my platform. This is what I can do. I can say what the hell I want to say, and I can be the man that I want to be. And I'm gonna stand on what I say on this orderly conduct. As a man, I'm not gonna come at another man and talk about what he got going on unless I've been helping this man. Right? Am I wrong? No, no, no. no, no, no. If you ain't bought one goddamn new piece of equipment <laughs> in this motherfucker, <laughs> don't tell me shit. And that's it. I'm and that's it. I love <laughs> you brought up Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, we, you brought up Donald Trump. You brought up the politics. So we we going to talk about it. Tell me how y'all feel about what happened this week in Allen Bell. It was it was real close, brother. It was close as fuck. But sixty eight percent of uh, was it white people? Man voted for that man. Don't look, look at me. you my residential white. Wait, I'm bro. not white. My car got traded okay, in a okay. long Kayla's time ago. Not, I, I, I said earlier, I was, <laughs> Kayla needed to hear her black ass up. You did <laughs> say that. I, I said that, but y'all. Know, I'm just <laughs> How y'all feel about what happened in Alabama this week? I, it was it's great. It's a lot of ways I feel about that. Because I've been following politics and shit. Like, right. since Donald Trump... Since it. he was an actual, like, candidate, I had to pay attention to what the fuck going on. Like, hood news and shit is cool, y'all, but politics is really where it's at because it's going to affect you no matter what the fuck go on in the hood, man. No matter if they enact the law or you don't know shit about it, that's another way for you to get oh, trapped up in whatever, man. So, when, uh... <laughs> When uh when I seen that shit happen, man, I was happy because I honestly thought that no matter what, uh, Roy Moore was gonna win. I thought that shit was gonna happen. I just took that L instantly. But I'm glad that I'm glad that black people go out and vote. Fuck the bullshit. I don't care what none of these rappers tell you. None of your local hood people tell you. Your vote is important, nigga. If you can get out and vote, get out and do it. It ain't no excuse for the shit that go on. You feel what I'm saying, man? That man, uh, what was his name? Doug Jones? Whatever the fuck. The other man that wasn't touching the children. He, <laughs> he won by 1.6% or 1.8%. Very small. It was a small ass margin. It was large enough for him to win and not have a recount. But it was a small margin. Man, get out and vote. Your voice matters, man. All that shit. You can early vote, goddamn it. You can come to the library and early vote. Have your ID with you, man. That shit is important and no matter what nobody tell you. If we ain't got no voice nowhere else, if we gonna play games like if they gonna play these games with us, we're gonna have to play them games back. Politics is a game, baby. Our vote count. Hey, we got twenty seven people tuned in right hey. now. Make sure every each and every twenty seven one of y'all like the page at this orderly conduct entertainment. We do this every Friday, seven thirty PM ish. Some shit might happen. <laughs> I'm just being real with you. We come on live, then I just stopped. <laughs> I didn't like the vibe. I wasn't feeling it. It was not right. We got um let me tell you this. We got shirts, y'all. If you have not paid attention, we got the man listen shirts. If you don't notice, our our, our our thing on Saturdays, we have a radio spot every five minutes of between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. on the Corporate Hustle Radio Show, Streets 101. Uh, we do a segment where we just podcast, basically. Man, and listen. we speak to the people of Little Rock. We speak to the people of Arkansas. And uh, we just trying to build, man. We just trying to sell these shirts too, so let me make Dirty sure. Shirts. Uh, this man, yes. listen, shirts you can get them in small, medium, large, extra large, two X. Y'all, let me know. Inbox me if you need larger. You go. <laughs> you gonna have to pay some change, but damn it, we got you. We got you. Listen, I'm taking care of my big, my fellow big brother. If nobody else got y'all, we got y'all. 
I don't care what size it go up to. Six, seven, <laughs> let me know. You don't have to pay that shipping and handling, though. Okay. <laughs> speak Life. We got the Speak Life shirts over here. Uh, my whole thing about speaking life is making sure I'm speaking positivity, making sure I'm uh, putting... Bringing life to people, making sure that when people see me, that I'm smiling, that I'm, I'm that I'm, I'm happy, that I'm cheerish. I feel like we got this image about black men that that everybody think we mean when they see us. We we Damn. gorillas, we you know, air we mean mugging. Which I, I I agree. I got a little mean mug about me. Right. But the truth is. I mean mug because I feel like I have to as a black man, you know. Because you already think that I'm... Right, I'm already thinking everybody hate me and all this, but whatever. Being able to speak life into people, that's why I got the, the, you know, heartbeats, the the, the line to make sure, you know, we, we speak in that positivity, we speak in that language that everybody like, we giving it back. Two young brothers, I got the, the single man over here, Harlem Wilson. I'm the married man over here with two kids uh, over here trying to make this happen. And my brother came over here and joined me on the podcast. 200 pounds lost combined together. My man, man over here lost 145. One, 135. Okay, 135. I, lost like I don't whole... want to take credit for it's... all the pounds. I'm just saying. like, it's, it's... Yeah. I, we got the people tuned in. Everybody don't know the story. Oh, uh, yeah. Know. So, you know. Former fat man. Former fat man. Depending on the weather, I'm kind of still there. But uh, I'm not going to stand up because like, this nigga still fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm on an operation to eliminate man boobs around America. And I'm starting right here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Your man's titties is not supposed to be bigger than yours. If your man's titties is bigger than yours, you don't love your man. Damn sucking his dick. Get your man, get your man to the gym. Get your man to the gym. Get his ass on the treadmill. Wow. Do some push-ups. Fuck it. Okay, so can I not be myself? No, I'm, I don't. I don't want. I don't want. I'm right there with you. I don't want to do this no more because obviously I can't be myself, child. I'm right there with you. Obviously, get that ass out. Get that. Y'all was my boy. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm on operation. I'm trying to lose mine, baby. I don't I want it I, no more. I guess I've been going a little too hard this episode. No, I don't no, know. it's fine. <laughs> it is fine. Because I feel that I'm trying to lose mine, and it's hard. Get them shits out of here. <laughs> Get it out of here. This dude is in the gym <laughs> five days. <laughs> Y'all got me. <laughs> My man over here is in the gym five days a week, man. Putting it down. And I know, GB, you be over there working out doing your thing, too. I see you in the mirror flexing all the time. Oh, yeah, man. Check, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Making it happen, man. Yourself, I'm kind of oh, strong, man. little bit. That's what I have that. This is what I'm talking about, man. Right. I'm making sure we shouting out the people. We got Miss Tanise Reynolds have sub- has just subscribed. Hey, to the kind of, I see you, baby. We shouting you out. We appreciate you. Uh, I might just pull you in. Can, can I'm. We've been working on this whole pull people in part over here at Disorderly Conduct. We are gonna get it together one day. And in the meantime, in between time, we are gonna make it happen. I'm not seeing where my comments coming in on my live video. I got my lady over here making it happen with those. Like, sure we get those on the podcast. You know. Yeah. Uh, fellas. What's happening? What's up? Keaton. Keaton. Good Lord. Keaton. <laughs> I don't even know his last name. But uh, I know his name is Keaton. I know his name is Keaton. Mm-hmm. I think that's what everybody does. I'm gonna just sip some water. Why? Y'all, y'all gonna let me? Can I say it? Y'all, are y'all gonna say it or do I have to see it? Hey. Y'all gonna say it or I'm not gonna have to see it? Hey, you know what I said, boy? Fuck King. <laughs> I don't care. Answer, I don't care. <laughs> First of all, if everything that they said is true, I wasn't there, I didn't witness it. But we have all seen enough from this week to know. That this little motherfucker here is the issue. Now they say, "Don't take it out on the kid. He it, it's it's a talk. His parents taught him that. Take it out on the mom, the dad. Okay, <laughs> fuck them too, then. Huh? <laughs> mom, what your racist says. Dad, what your f- American Confederate flag wearing ass." Okay, yeah, look, we get them. I'm getting in everybody's ass tonight. Anybody can get it tonight. Lot I, of, lot I, of, I've been holding a lot of stuff in. A lot of animosity on the side of the table. Let me. 
Woo, sir. <laughs> I done got about three fourths of what I've been going through out already. So I tell people this is therapy. Like podcasting is therapy. This is disorderly conduct. If you can't be real, you can't be raw, and you can't be authentic on this one, then where can you be real, raw, and authentic at? You know, this is the this is the place where we can be ourselves. Listen, you already gotta be a different person at your job if you're black. Am I lying? Yeah. Tell the truth. You are know. we are we blending in as black people or not? You gotta a little bit. You gotta conform because I'm still hood. Depending on where I work at, bro. I'm I know hood, some. I'm hood. Talking to. I'm hood. Hood. I know some brothers. Adjacent. I know some brothers, man, that will sit right here with me and you, that but what up, whoopty whoopty woo. Get right in front of some other white folk. How you doing, sir? Uh <laughs> and sometimes you gotta play I the stopped game. Stop doing yeah. that, bro. Yeah. Like there is no reason for us not to be ourselves as black men. Like real talk. Right. There's no reason for us not to be ourselves. I don't understand the reason why we as black men can't be ourselves. Damn it. Everybody steals our shit. <laughs> right. Am I lying? They <laughs> steal it from us, <laughs> remix it, right. and call it what they want to call it. Mm-hmm. But we have to feel some kind of way about our culture or the way we think oh, or the yeah. way we dress or how we act right. and I'm just saying this it's cool to be motherfucking you it is it's, it's okay to be yourself the best part about me doing this podcast is I'm being myself if you ran into me in the streets if you see me uh at the library <laughs> if you see me in Sonic Drive dude, damn it, say what's up I'm gonna be the same dude I'm People be like, bro, you really doing something with your podcast. I see. Oh, you famous. I'm, I'm not nothing. <laughs> I'm not nothing. No. No. Real talk. I'm, no. I'm nothing, right. bro. I feel I'm it. just making it. I'm putting actions behind my words that I was speaking when we started this shit. When I was 275, sitting in my damn car. Like, uh, some shit got to change. Like, we can't. I can't keep living this way. I'm waking up frustrated as a married man, taking that out on my woman, taking it out on my son, just frustrated with life. Man. And you can't live life like, you cannot live life like that as a man. Like, for real talk. You cannot live life like that. You got to be happy with yourself. You got to be happy with what you're doing. Life is hard enough for us. <laughs> it's hard enough for us as it is. Ain't no need to be more, putting more stress and pressure on our damn self. Most definitely. To... Do some shit. We already know what to do. Mm-hmm. We are doing it, fellas. Right. We are prime examples of positive black images, positive black men that's trying to put a, a reach out there to people that's something different. Speak. I, I, I'm sorry. I mean, know. I was listening. Oh, you man, was, I, when I, people I, get on wrong with the I'm street. sorry, y'all. Let me. It's, I don't want to I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Uh, hey. It's Friday. So it's the end of the week. A lot hey. of shit been built up. It's cool. I don't care. It's it's the podcast. It's the this podcast. What we're supposed to do, right? Wow. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm letting y'all. But yeah, Keaton, we was that was what we was yeah, the Keaton right. thing, and then I think I dragged. We were. We about Keaton. we it's <laughs> my bad. It's cool. I mean, because I feel that too, man. Because I feel like because sometimes even in public, I feel like sometimes I have to censor myself as a as a young black man because I'm a big black dude and I scare the shit out of people walking around corners. <laughs> For no reason. Bro, true. I could be minding my damn business and people will clutch their purse and act like I just, I came outside today to get you. And it ain't like that, man. I just really want to chill. I don't want to bother nobody. I'll say, hey, if you look good enough. But God damn it. Like Craig said, you got to be you, man. You got to be you. If I didn't tell the truth, man, if I wasn't myself and I didn't, sp- I haven't went this hard on a podcast. <laughs> no, <laughs> why? <laughs> Never. But I can't be fake with my people. I can't be fake with my people. Like, if I come on here and I'm acting all la di da, life is all just honey <laughs> dory for Craig Stewart, that's not what people, no, that's not real. I go through real shit just like y'all go through real shit. We go through real shit. We was talking about Keaton. I'm not finna get off of that. Like, no, I, I, we gonna come okay. back to that. We, was, we coming yeah, back to that. We done got on some actual shit that matter, and then he right. You know, it can, that's how it get. You know, <laughs> that's my fault, man. Right. We can talk about Keaton, y'all. Okay. I was I was past that. Okay, the young man got bullied. I, 
Let me say this before we hop off that. I understand kids shouldn't be bullied. Bullying is bad, y'all. Bullying is terrible. I just want somebody to explain to me what would sixty-one thousand dollars do to bullying? How does that help the situation? How does that help him out? How you gonna be sixty-one thousand dollars getting your ass roasted, nigga? Like still. So what? I feel like. You, you put money behind some shit that you really didn't understand. If you can explain to me how that money was going to help his situation, because he's still going to have to go to school, and he's still going to have whatever problems with him that was making fun of him about, he's still going to have them. What was the money supposed to do? I don't, I don't get that. That's my thing. I'm not hating, young man. Get your money. Folks going to give it to you. Fuck it. But I just don't understand how that was going to help him get over bullying. Y'all didn't pay to have the bully beat up. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't, right. y'all didn't say, hey, when they bully you, just give them $100, and they'll leave you alone after a while. None of that shit. Y'all just gave them money. I don't, I don't get it. Let me shout out Mr. Uh, Stephen Stapleton, uh, just subscribed to the podcast about five or ten minutes ago. Man. Let me, I want to make sure we shout out everybody that like my page, that like what we got going on, man. It's, bruh, you a part of something. You just... You don't wait. <laughs> Just wait. It's coming. Like, it's literally coming. I believe in this shit so much. You believe in it. Man. Everybody in this room believe in it. It's going to happen. I want to make sure we shout out Mr. Steven Stepton that uh, subscribe to the podcast. I appreciate you, my brother. Tuned in. Everybody else, 25 of y'all, still watching, still tuned in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the podcast, This Orly Conduct Entertainment. Download it. SoundCloud, mm. Google Play, mm-hmm. iTunes. Mm. There ain't nowhere you cannot find uh, disorderly conduct entertainment. We are literally everywhere. If you if you're not looking, you're not trying. How about that? Also, the website now. The website uh-huh. got to shout that out. www.disorderlyconductent.com. Make sure you go there. You can check out the latest episodes of the podcast. If you missed the last episode, Death to Relationships, where we had the ladies join Woo. us. It went in. It went hard. Mm. You can catch the video on Facebook or you can go and catch the uh, download audio on Google Play and iTunes. Like we always say, man, we build it. There are avenues. <laughs> I'm making it possible for everybody to hear this name. And I don't care if you're in Alaska, the one white girl in Australia, uh, my man over in the Middle East tuned in last uh, week. Uh, uh, you! You! <laughs> <laughs> my Middle Eastern brother. I appreciate you. Make sure you like and share this page again. <laughs> this whole episode, this wow. whole episode, we went in, we got our say was real moments out the way. Wow. This whole episode is basically bad. Emotional labor. Right. Are you putting enough time into your, your, your relationship or your marriage as you do your job? The reason I bring that up and I, I play off of that is because... We got this eight-hour job that we work at every day mm-hmm. that, that we have to do, that we spend most of our time at, and then we come home, and I know we as men, we tired, you know, and you know, with some days we don't have it, <laughs> but we still got to do what we got to do as men to make sure that the women in our lives are taken care of. Most definitely. Not just financially, but emotionally. Like, that's very important too. I know a lot of uh, of us don't like to talk about the, the emotional part when it comes to being a man and, and dealing with a relationship or a marriage, but I feel like it needs to be talked about. And I got two strong brothers over here who I know not afraid to talk about the relationship and the being married. No, you married, I'm married, and you the single man over here, but you got, you know, right, your I relationship. Got a relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah this so, is this is what we're here for. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're making it. This is why I'm bringing us together to make it happen. Okay, so, as men, are what, 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 what do you consider... What is your role as a man in a relationship? Whether you're married or you're in a relationship. What are you setting expectations when you first get together with your woman? Like, 
are we what is the plan when we first get together like are are I don't know if a lot of guys even thinking like that I think we we put in the ass before we get into the the the, <laughs> the actual the, yeah the, the actual shit do, like, I like what we this about person, to do right? yeah and um, that's the ass backwards way like don't do that like let's not have sex first <laughs> yeah. yeah you see you, you know, know? Yeah. Let's not have sex the first night. Let's just wait. Right. I feel and that. And get to know each other. I feel that. That's the truth. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I just ain't never been niggas out there like that. I feel like if you... There's one out, like, it's quick fucks, and then if it's somebody you're really trying to build a relationship with, man, like, that, that sex is totally different. You feel what I'm saying as far as being with that person? When you got something with somebody, it's a totally different thing, man. So... I feel like you need to take that shit seriously, bro. Like, everybody, everybody not meant to be fucked with, both literally and figuratively speaking. Like, there's some people that you really just don't need to know like that. There's a lot of shit that you could just really pass up on. If a nigga can't pass up on any woman, like any piece of pussy, bro, there's something wrong with that. You didn't pick the wrong one. You didn't pick the wrong one. GB? And I feel like, you know, with some relationships, a lot of people don't know how to do a lot of communication with each other. Because a lot of times with communication, you get to learn that person and you get to know what's really their mental state. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you can be with somebody and then you try to date them and you're trying to, you know, do more things with them, like actually enjoy life with them and go do trips and things like that. And then a lot of times you pick up a woman and she's nice for that moment, for that couple of months, right. and then later in life, you be like, wait a minute. She had switched up on me. I feel like I done got something that I didn't even want. Like, you know, when you buy something that looks good, and then when you, and then once you play with it for a while, you be like, wait a minute, this ain't as good as it used to be anymore. So, what you need to do is constantly work on building with somebody that has to have motivation, have goals, want to do something good with themselves, want to help you build yourself to be better, and also the same for her. And that is going to keep your relationship going strong. And it's going to probably turn into a great, you know, of course, a friendship that's going to honestly build. And then it can turn into something beautiful as marriage and kids. Man. So that's something you want. You want something that's real. You don't want something that looks good on Facebook or Instagram. You want something that's going to that's be real. Get speak on that, my that's brother. Real. Yes, get that ass real quick wow. on that. I w- you bring it back up last week episode, but you okay. here. You didn't yeah, you here. you can speak on it now. Okay. It's twenty seventeen mm-hmm. and I'm seeing a lot of women and I'm seeing a lot of men too sharing these memes or these graphics of happy relationships just all the time. We cuddled up, we lovey dovey, we happy, it's just we it's all love, mm-hmm. it's all this and that, and I'm just like that's Bullshit. <laughs> I call that a seasonal change. Because at the moment, it's just for that season. But wait till next season. You're going to be like, oh, he wasn't what all I expected. He ain't this and that. He lied to me. He cheated on me. He messed with me. Go in, GB. And then I'm going to be like, I thought y'all was so in love with each other. Just and damn, y'all honest. was cool last yeah. week. You know what I'm saying? was cool exactly. last week, baby. What happened? I, you know, that's the thing that people get wrong or whatever. Because they only did it for that moment. They didn't do it for the time of, oh, I want to keep this for the long run. They said, you know what, he's they good to be with for now. But you know what, I see something I want to jump on. Boom, I'm going to jump on it. I'm not married. Why not? I don't even think you really know a person until you at least dated them, been with them for a year. Exactly. At least a year. Or some or some shit really got to go some down. Shit really some shit really got to go down. Go down. Yeah, in between that time. year. For you to just be like, all right, this right. the one. Some shit yeah. got her. She got or she, Yeah, she would have to show you some boy. <laughs> some, I mean, for real. For real. In, 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 a, in a year, for me, man, it took us a year to finally, okay, this is it. This right. is, okay, this is, the, we dated. We didn't work out the first time. Mm-hmm. No, I wasn't, I wasn't acting right. We didn't work out the second time. She wasn't feeling me. But the third time we came together and we was like, okay, we're we going to try to make this work. We're going to try to do right. We're going to, you know, mm-hmm. put in the effort that it takes to make the relationship work. Right. And if you can't do that, then there's no point in even doing it. You right. DJ Harlem? 
I feel that, man. Like I said, it's all about building some shit and being real. Like, man, even with Tanise. Tanise has been cool with me since I was... I was a fat nigga. I was 364 pounds. A lot of people wasn't feeling that. And you don't get a lot of love when you when you when you when you hefty, like they say. Y'all don't the understand. big is beautiful. That that shit don't work. Yeah, that for me, shit y'all. don't work all the time. It don't work for me. Yeah, That's come on, uh, you. It don't work for me. It don't work for men at all. You see all the fine, <laughs> thick women. And, and they get ain't it. no commercial with a bunch of fat niggas and underwear. Fat niggas and underwear. My fat is beautiful. <laughs> my stretch marks is beautiful. <laughs> 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 That's not gonna happen. <laughs> but like you said, it's about man being real. If you. I'm down with people that's down to struggle with me, man. A relationship, right. a relationship is never, Ooh, a relationship sad. is never gonna be happy twenty four seven. I don't give a fuck if you got the house that you wanted, the perfect uh, motherfucking marriage. You can have all the money in the world, but at some point, y'all gonna butt heads. Now, with some people that can't take, some people have one argument with their spouse and fall out. That's right. it. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, I'm through. I don't need none of this, bitch. I'm gone. Now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, I just, I, it happened, man, but. I, <laughs> it's the truth, though. It's the truth. Know, it's, it's it's the truth. I'm out of here. I don't need none of this. You can have a dog. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Somebody like, that nigga just did that to me last year. Right. <laughs> Girl, you sure right. <laughs> but, man, it ain't nothing like somebody being with you in your struggle, bro. A good a good woman is hard to find, man. And a lot of shit look good and ain't good for you. So, if you got. That's to anybody, bro. If you got a woman that's handling her motherfucking business, and niggas know, we visual creatures. We like, we see what we like, and we get it. Whether it's a car, whether it's clothes, whatever the fuck it is, man. So a lot of times we see shit that look good, especially when it comes to women. But just like most things, that was that looked good, but it really wasn't what I wanted. It just looked nice, like you said, for the moment, man. Don't. Please, y'all, if you got a good relationship with some woman out here, whatever woman in your life, whether y'all official or not, whatever the fuck you want to call it, man, appreciate her. If she holds you the fuck down, show her that same respect back because, God damn it, I'm telling you, it's not a lot of women that's going to put up with your bullshit. It's not a lot of women that's going to, especially if y'all done put some work in, man, one year, two year, five years, whatever the fuck. If she know you, nigga, if she know you, I'm not even talking about Name, birthday. Right. If she know you, stay loyal. She She deserve it, nigga. It's not a rebuilding phase with somebody new is going to be some bullshit because you're going to be like, damn, the other person, it's like when you, it saved your password on Google. Right. I don't never have to change it with this person. You feel what I'm saying? Now I got to rechain my password, go to two-step authentication. I got to type in the code and shit, see if I trust this bitch. Look. If she worth it, man, put in, please put in that time with her. I can't stress that shit enough, man. Please, if you got a good-ass woman, be as good to her as she is to you. And you shouldn't have to ask for it no other way. If you feel like you ain't doing a good job, fuck it. Ask her what else you can do. If you feel like she not doing a good job, sit down and talk that shit out, Say man. That. Please <laughs> talk that shit out. A lot of shit and relationships can be avoided communication. with communication, nigga. Just Bro, sit down. Talk about if y'all, that, look, if y'all smoke or do whatever, hey, babe, we got to talk about some smoke shit. We're going we to roll one. We're going to talk about it. We're going to put on some music in the background. We're going to work some shit out. You feel what I'm Let saying? Yeah. Hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be but yeah, I didn't okay. mean to. I ain't mean to go on like that, man. But for real, bro, if if she really holding her shit down and handling her business as a woman, as far as I ain't even talking about, man, fuck. Cooking and cleaning is a whole different thing. I'm not even fucked up about that because you a grown ass man, you can do the same thing if you really want to feed yourself. But. <laughs> If she handling her business as far as nigga, you having a bad day, she gonna make sure that shit right no matter if her day was bad. That's real talk. That man. kind of thing, man. Show your women some appreciation, man. Whoever the fuck it is in your life, whatever title y'all got, make sure she knows she appreciate it, bro. For real. We got Miss Shara Cuts. Uh, she just tuned in. Uh, Miss Shara Cuts, make sure you like and subscribe to the podcast. We appreciate you tuning in, taking time and comment. She says nothing wrong with waiting. Uh, Miss Tanise, she been showing out. Tanise didn't subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh, damn. We appreciate that shit right there. Thank you.
when I tell you that, that YouTube channel, that, that subscriptions mean a lot. At Disorderly Conduct Entertainment. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Jones is tuned in. Shout out Jeremy, my brother. Another man tuned in. Hey, fellas, tune Hey, write some comments. If you disagree, if you agree, I don't care. We can talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy Jones is tuned in. Jeremy say, I don't agree. Women are more likely to date a big dude than a dude to date a big girl. True. Mm. I would not disagree with that. It is cold season. Yeah, it is. But never don't be you. It is cuddle season. It is cuddle yeah. season. It is. Is you just trying to... Is you, Cause she is gonna you drop just laying up under you for the winter? No, because I done had it. Look, tell the truth, Paul. Speak on it. <laughs> Look. Let them know. You come around <laughs> in October. Fair season come around. Now you want to be at the fair with a big nigga. You, you, you take me to Thanksgiving. You know he You may it. take me to, to Christmas if I'm good enough. You know you're going to eat good. <laughs> new year, new me come around. Look, I'm shouting out at the damn. Young people don't know me like that. I'm going back and getting second place. Everybody else and they threw with their first plate and shit. I'm embarrassing right. you. Shit like that. Then the first January come around, new year, new me. Right. Now you working on spring. You're not even mm-hmm. thinking about me no more. You forgot all about Valentine's Day is my deadline. Once that first flower bloom in March, it's a wrap. Ain't no big nigga season. I don't be like a bear skin rug, nigga. You had, you, you had the bear, and now you done got the skin. That's it, nigga. It's, stop playing with big niggas' feelings if you're out there doing that women. That shit ain't cool. If you're going to be down, stay down. Don't switch up on me. If you're going to be down, stay the fuck down, man. Y'all done hurt my man over here, first I'm, of all. I'm really trying to keep it together. Y'all don't... Ooh. Hey, man, you have a flat <laughs> Look, I'm trying to hurt my man over here. Right now. He didn't say stop it. Now, stop. <laughs> hey man, I put a post up early. Let me make sure I find it. So right. I don't want to say the, the wrong thing. I want to make sure I get this out word for word because I mean what I say when I said I said a woman will never love a man she has to take care of. You become a burden that she will never respect. Hey. See, this is see. <laughs> do y'all first of all, do you men agree? Yes. Yes. Oh, definitely. No woman will respect you if she has to take care of you. Because it'd be like taking care of like her children or just a younger little brother or whatever. Because women feel like a man needs to hold his own and do what he needs to do. You know what I'm saying? Because when you show that, that shows a woman that you about you about what you uh, what you say about you about handling business, being a man of the house, taking care of business. Women like that. That's that's holding it down. And women love that about it. And that's that's really for women they find that sexy in a man. If a man can pay his business, say that hold it down. Say that. Take care of his kids. Say that. Pay the car no pay say the that. bills, say you know that. what I'm saying? And keep <laughs> a little swag about himself and keep it professional. They love that. They love it. They love it. And that's what women want. They want a real man. Not boys pretending to be a real man, looking, acting like children. You know what I'm saying? So, in a way, we got to be as men accepted what we are. Soon as we turn grown, handle your business. Take care of your kids. Buy food for, in the house. Simple things. It's not complicated. Love your woman. Take care of your woman. And be a man. Do, and y'all get message. Are y'all getting this information? <laughs> message, my man. We over here dropping jewels tonight. This is what I'm. T- I see. I love real talking, real conversation with real uh, men. Like uh, I can shoot the shit with motherfuckers all day. Like that's cool. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. is it gonna provide right. me what we really the knowledge that right what, that I need to get to the next level? You, what you just said, bro. I can take that with me and, and, and use that with my marriage. He can take that with him and use that with his relationship. They can take that with them and give it to their man or they woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is real talk. Make sure you share this shit. (laughs) This is... I love it, man. Brother, how you feel? Hey, look. I always had a problem. I ain't gonna say it. Let me put it like this. I know some good women who... Love is a strange thing, and it makes you do things that you're really not used to. Now, or do things that you wouldn't think that you're capable of. Now, I understand that love runs deep, but 
it's the difference between a nigga that's trying and a man that's not doing nothing. Now, if you allow him to lay up and do whatever and not have a job and that's okay and that's cool, it's something wrong with it. <laughs> it's something wrong with it, man. Shouldn't no man. I feel like as a man, it's in us, bro. I got to get up and do something. I'm either going to break something or fix something, goddamn it. I'm about to do something. So to to sit up and have not only do nothing for yourself, but have a woman take care of you like y'all said, that's a... It's very childish, man. What the fuck do you do all day other than smoke blunts and play 2K? What are you doing? Hey, put that goddamn Xbox down. Put the Xbox down. Y'all niggas too focused on Take off the headset. Uh, hey, it's... Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Baby boy, 99. Some, man, you, some real money. Go, go make some money. I'm, I'm, don't cool with, I'm cool with you playing a game for an hour. Stress relief, you know. But you on that motherfucker every day, two, three hours, four hours out the day. Right. I mean, that's not healthy for you. What are you doing? That's not healthy it? for you. <laughs> Damn your relationship. That's not healthy for you. You ain't getting shit accomplished sitting at the Xbox playing that for three, four hours out of the day. What are you accomplishing? If you ain't handled no You're getting business. coins for your, your legend player. But I love it up. Right. I love it up though, brother. And <laughs> Level up in your damn job. Level up on your damn career, my nigga. Like, what are we so doing? I understand. I love, man. I love. I ain't everybody. got nothing against video games. I'm I not have, saying I that. Love Bruh, games, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I just, I'm not talking about nothing. I wouldn't speak <laughs> on nothing that I, I didn't do. I just got rid of my Xbox, bro. Eight months ago, hardcore. Played that shit every day. NFL Madden 2K, NBA 2K, all that. I was the man. Okay, maybe I wasn't the man, but I I was the man in my own mind. Right. Yeah, that's that's right. besides the point. <laughs> I played that shit every day, bro. I was so dedicated to it, bro. I'm watching videos while I'm at work trying to learn how to be a better Madden player. But I ain't learning how to be a better man. I'm not learning how to be a better father. They got videos on how to be a better... Bro, they got... Bukus of YouTube videos where dudes are sitting down, bro, showing people how to play Madden, showing people how to get better or, or watch out for certain things. Certain tips, it, this is real. They are out there. And I'm spending three, four hours on the Xbox, an hour or two on researching YouTube. how to play to be better at an Xbox. <laughs> but I can't spend three, four hours out the day to, to try to provide, to do podcasts or to, do, to build a dream. To be a better father, to be a better man, period. But I can spend that time on the Xbox. I sold that damn Xbox. Bought my first shirts. Best decision I fucking made. You know why? Because I I sacrificed. Right. I I knew that the shirts they wasn't for selling or anything like that. I wasn't gonna get that money back. They were for me. They was for you to to build my shit. They was for me to build my shit. I saw the Xbox, uh, Xbox One, whatever the hell it was, two controllers, headset, five or six games. I had just bought um, Gears of War 4 or Ultimate, the last one that just came out. You fancy. Just bought, bro. You fancy as shit. Showing out, bro. No showing, showing out. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you that shit was like three or $400, I sold it for 100 just because I knew I had a dream. I had something bigger. I had something better that I, that I wanted to do. Like, I didn't want to fucking play Xbox and do that shit the rest of my life. Like, <laughs> my life is way more than a game system. Like, there's so much more to life besides me sitting around the TV just wasting away. I understand coming home, you want to take a little break from work. Sit down maybe 30 minutes, an hour, play your little game, chill out for a little... I get that. I'm not saying that's not... Okay, cool. But... Don't make it your priority. Don't make it damn me. To wake up and y- you your put, occupation you're putting is it over Xbox. Your woman? You putting yeah. Xbox over your woman. You're fucking up. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm talking about some shit that I have went through. I wouldn't tell y'all none that I ain't went through. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak on stuff that I haven't gone through. That's the one thing people gonna understand about me. I keep it real. We keeps it real. That's the whole point in this. And 
I brought that question up earlier. Hold on, let me get to these comments. I got yeah, a whole yeah, yeah. bunch of people. Sorry, y'all. We get we into sorry. it. And we didn't got deep on her. Hit screen. I can't see what's going on right what's now. What's happening? Uh, yeah. We got Miss Miss Ronica Crushfield. Oh, my wife. Wifey. Hey. Wifey That's is love. tuned in. Hey, hey Ronica. Like, 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 if what's you can. Uh, oh, yeah. See you soon. Yeah, we should be good still. Right? See. I can't see what's going on. Wifey, what's it like? Did we cut off, baby? No, it's on. It's still going. We still going. We still going. I can't see anything, so I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Listen, y'all got to work with us on this one. <laughs> 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 we making it happen how it happened, but I can't see a damn thing. So right, let me see your phone over here. <laughs> let me see if my... Right, yeah. so let me make sure we still live. Y'all let us know if we still live. Oh, we're live? Hit the like and share button or something. Look, I don't care if it's an angry face. You're mad because we not. We, <laughs> we don't know what the hell we doing over here. Just let me know. We still alive. We still alive. Okay. We're going to roll with it. I can't see what's going on. <laughs> okay, let me get to these comments. Let me get to these comments, because everybody, boy, everybody got See? a lot to say about what we done said. See, so. now it's Buffer. I don't think we live, Craig. I don't think we live either. I don't think we live either. Uh, all these comments are off the chain. Yeah, the comments. I'm yeah. trying to get to them. I hate I don't want to leave these comments uncommented on <laughs> Whoa. We're trying to come back, I'm y'all. To come back yeah. to you, but I can't see. All right, man. You're gonna see this one right here with Denise Reynolds. Let me see if we can work some other mm-hmm. shit. Really? Hey, <laughs> real talk. To be told. Look at that. I'm charged over here. Lord, we done went too long to damn battery about to die. We done got we It is about 830. Yeah. We done went the fucking. We ain't even got to the really the topic of what. I and it happened. To the topic of the it, it, it happened like that every time. Though. Exactly. Cause we were talking about. Um, so we done lost all the people. No. No, we didn't. Yeah, it looked like it. White man said, "No, it's too many positive black men." Exactly. <laughs> they speaking right. too much realness. We don't need this shit to get out okay, here. Well, it's nobody sagging right now. We don't Turn need this to get shit off. Exactly. <laughs> Facebook, you better get it off the internet. Right? <laughs> 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 hey, it was incognito on that. Don't Get it off right now. Incognito on that, but like, oh. I hate that. That was my people. Alright, we yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, we got audio though, but damn it, we back. need are we? Are we back? Starting. It's coming back. Okay. Yeah. We finna make some shit happen real fast. We about to make some shit happen, y'all. Oh yeah. We uh we done broke the internets. <laughs> we done, we done broke it. We done oh, broke man. the fucking internet, man. Oh man. We need, uh, I got a reshare. Mm. Damn it, part two. We, we back again. Okay. <laughs> we back again. We back We're trying to figure it out. We don't know what happened. I swear Donald Trump behind it. Donald Trump? <laughs> Donald then Trump fuck behind the, it. Man, look. Let us down. Yeah. We said his name and that baby was on Twitter. Oh. I don't like that. I don't want them <laughs> saying anything about me. They need <laughs> they need to be shut down bigly. Sad. Make America great again. There you go. Hashtag impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag bigly. They making me mad bigly. All right, we we back. We sorry, y'all, man. Uh, we about to like, share, and subscribe again. Right, we trying to make it happen. However, we all right. Say what happened. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, things happen, y'all. Technology ain't always great. And uh, technical difficulties. I mean, we, I, I need those back. Man. I need those people to come back. back. <laughs> Gotta find my way back. Way back. <laughs> I need them to come back. Oh, yeah. Hold on, y'all. All right. We're going to get 
getting it together still. I'm sorry. Shit is going on on disorderly conduct. We building. We trying to get it together. All right. We live apparently now. Thank you to all five of y'all watching. Whoever, however many people. Uh, they coming back. They coming back. Thank you for coming back. It's like you just changed the channel. The, we we back. Oh, yeah. How many people on here right now? Uh, I see seven. Seven on here right now. <laughs> Damn it, it's weird hearing yourself. You be like, nigga, is that what the fuck I sound like? <laughs> Ew. God damn it. Yeah, we're rolling we're gonna right keep now. it going now. Nah, we just yeah. lost yeah, come on damn back. train of thought. We back, we back, we back. Let me get back to these comments like we said. Yeah, we're gonna uh, go back on the comments, y'all. We gotta find where the fuck we was at. Everybody been going in. Uh um my cousin says, Miss Lady Stevenson says, Preach Harlem. Miss Ronica Crutchfield says, Amen. Jeremy Jones says, 100%. Miss Denise said, My Big Bear. Shout out to the Big Bear. <laughs> uh, Mr. Will Davis is tuned in. Let us get a shout out to Mr. Will Davis for tuned in. Hopefully, you're back, my brother. Um, come on back, folks. We appreciate you. Um, amen, cousin. Been there, done that. Mr. Leland says, Depending on how you started. Uh, Tanisha said my mother's marriage over 28 years. Damn. Shout out to those 28 years for holding it down, making it happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is going on, man. Off pause, keeping it going. Uh, we was going in, going in. Oh yeah, we was going really in, and I appreciate everybody that was tuning in, liking and sharing the page, and, and all that good stuff. Cause it was, it was a real turnout this uh this last time. Um, we were talking about the whole post I made, man, with the. Your woman not gonna respect you. Your your woman's not gonna love you if she if she gotta take care of everything. That was my main thing about that. Um, people think that I was gonna come on here and I was just gonna man bash and and, and do that, but no, we're not doing that. We're yet. not doing that on disorderly conduct. I'm talking about my damn self. It's what people don't understand. I'm not going to tell y'all nothing that I haven't been through. Yes. I was a sorry ass nigga. (laughs) 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 I did not have it all together. It wasn't up to her. It wasn't up for her. It wasn't up to her to make that happen for me. I had to make that shit happen for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like. She can come at me and preach and do and all of that till she blew in the face. But if I'm not trying to take my life to the next level, then I'm going to be that same sorry ass dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we first got together, I didn't have my shit together. I wasn't prepared for life. I wasn't, I wasn't shit. I was just Craig, graduated from Bryant, uh, out here trying to do some shit. Don't really know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm working uh, just out here trying to do some shit. So, I had this woman over here who, who's with me, who supports me, who loves me because of who I am, not because of what I got. And that's cool. But, you, as me as a man, I couldn't live off of that forever. And me as a man, I failed because I let my relationship fail. We had to move back home. And that shit was the hardest shit. That shit killed you, I bet it did. It, boy, damn near tore us apart. Mm. Because it was like, she was holding it down. But I wasn't being, I was working. I was not not having a job, but it wasn't consistent. I was working temporary jobs. 
I was working here, I was working there, I never would keep a job consistently. Mm. So the money was never coming in consistently. That shit took a burden on her. Because she had to take care of most of everything. And I knew this. And when the shit happened, when I when we had to move back home, it really didn't even hit me. I'm thinking like I'm still thinking little boy mind, like she my girl, she coming back home with me, she gonna love me, she gonna stick by me, I'm gonna get herself out of this, I'm gonna make it happen, I'm gonna do that. Fuck that. <laughs> no. She was not happy. Man. She was not happy to go back to my parents' house. Well, to go to my parents' house. She was not happy to leave where she was comfortable at, where she had built where she was at before me. She did not want to do that. What, what kind of nigga? What, I can't be mad at her for that. At all. At the time, I didn't understand it because I'm selfish going through my own shit, still thinking like, she going to be with me. She going to stick with me. This is a tough time for us, but she got me. She going to hold it down. No. That's not how it happened. And us, me, me thinking with that mind frame and me moving back home, not having a job at the time, me smiling around the house, thinking that everything is all it's, right, yeah, like because right. I'm I'm trying to make it all right, even though it's all fucked up. She walking around the house, mean mugging, don't want to be there, you know, <laughs> no. And you just like, man, I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't man. know what the hell wrong with her. Then my parents, what's wrong with her? I don't know. <laughs> No, you know. Yeah, you. I, it took me to. Re, it took me to go through that to realize I had to do some shit different. I realized that if I was gonna be with this woman, if this was the woman I'm claiming myself to be with, if this is the woman that you gonna be, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna be with. This ain't no. We gonna lay up and fuck and and eat for <laughs> 10, fifteen years. God situation. Damn it. <laughs> no, we. I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry, Craig. It's, um, it's but the it's truth. Real as it's fuck, real bro. shit. No, no, you, you not, nah, nah, bro. You straight. <laughs> you my nigga. But that's real <laughs> shit. Yeah. You my nigga. You straight. She not finna do that. No, no, ain't no real woman finna stay with you, bro. If you not taking care of her, <laughs> she just not finna do it. And like you said, that's more than that's more than just financial and shit. As far as Emotionally, man, making sure she's straight. Damn, I didn't know that, Craig. If bro. you're not taking care of this woman, man, she's not gonna she's not gonna act right. Then it's gonna become it's a it's gonna you gonna have to make a decision. It's 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 your turn to make the decision on whether or not you gonna be the man that steps up to the plate or you gonna be the man that falters and okay, I'm just gonna let her go because it was a point to where I was like. You know, she didn't left me over here because we moved. She moved with me to my parents' house, but then we got to a point where we it, it was just too difficult. She moved back home to her parents' house. I felt like I got abandoned. I felt like I got left, then I got railroaded or whatever. That was the little boy in me. Right. I didn't realize at the time what she was doing was, nigga, either you got. Either you gonna stay up shit together, or I'm out. And it was like, okay, Craig, it's not like this. Ain't no, she gonna hold you down forever. Yeah, nigga, situation, this nigga. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> like this is it. And I had to make a decision, like to do something, to be something, to do something more than what I was doing, and being the same guy that I was, not caring about shit. Or playing around with life because I didn't... Life wasn't going the way that I wanted it to go. It wasn't my plan. My plans wasn't working out. I didn't give a fuck. I just wanted to smoke weed, drink all day, turn up. Because I'm young. I'm 20... Shit, what was we? 19, 20, 21 at yeah, the time? Yeah, that's all you want to do is turn up. Man. Turn up at the time, bro. That's all I want to do. That's cool. If that's all you fucking want to do. <laughs> but that's not all I wanted to do with my life. And that's not... And I was not going to let this good woman go 
Because you want to turn the I dropped the ball. Yeah. That's a terrible feeling. What really? That's not even a top one. <laughs> what really, really, really made me get my shit together was her dad told me, I don't think y'all should be together. I think you should leave her alone. Damn. You Do you know me. how Ooh. hurt? Do you know how little that make me, how made that made me feel at the time, bro? When I say I didn't, I was struggling. <laughs> I'm, I don't even know how to feel and hearing that. Dad from was like, "I'm just gonna be real with you. I don't think y'all should be together. Not at this point in time because what is there really to be with?" What wow. am I gonna say? What 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 could I say? I gotta get in the mic. Wow. What could I say? Mm-hmm. At the time, what, I was mad. Oh, I was pissed off. <laughs> she I could bet. tell you. She could, I was. I was so pissed off. I, what the fuck? I didn't been with you five years and been through all this shit with you. We done went through all this shit together. He got the the audacity to tell me <laughs> not to be with you. Yeah, you got damn right. Because if I had a daughter and I seen her with a nigga that was like me, I would say the same thing. Like, you not really adding to the situation, my dude. Like, yeah, you really just you just causing more trouble for me. Cause I gotta hear about it now. Cause she back at home in my house. <laughs> so, like I'm saying, I'm telling, I'm I put it all out there, bro. I don't hold shit back. Cause this is. This is what I do. This is podcast and therapy. DJ Harlem James, Gabriel Crutchfield. Wow. This is what we do as men. And I just want guys to understand, like, if you in a relationship with a woman and you calling yourself committed or you in a relationship, fucking be committed. Be in that shit. <laughs> be better. Like, be better. Right. Challenge yourself to do better. Challenge yourself every week to be a better man. Do something Every other week that will make her be like, damn, this nigga really is trying. Or catch her off guard. Uh, see, it's all about effort. If we put in the effort, man, we'll get that shit right back from them. Most definitely. They love us already. They love us already. She just wanted to see me work harder and do better, be better for my damn self. And I wasn't. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to be nothing, man. I can tell y'all that because I didn't been there. I wasn't trying to do shit. I wasn't trying to be nothing, man. And it 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 took me to want to get my CDL, want to do something different, want to actually put in the effort to 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 be a better me, and that was fat me. You know what I'm saying? Like. Imagine if I was this size back when I was 21, 22 with the mind frame and all this shit. Oh, the, what you got now? You're rude of the world. It's not even about... You right. But all, we, all I can do is focus on the here and now. Right. And I put the shit out there to tell dudes like step up and handle your shit. Like if she working all day and come home and your ass ain't cook nothing, what kind of shit is that? Especially if you ain't got no damn job. It, it, if you ain't got no damn job, nigga, you should be making breakfast, bringing <laughs> lunch, and cooking dinner. All right, baby. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was all right. I made you a sack lunch. It's a bologna sandwich and some chips in there. Okay. It's going to be all right. Your woman shouldn't have to come home and complain about you not helping her out. If that mean making the bed, just start doing something small that lead to bigger things. Even if you do it wrong, goddamn it. Just let us see just some do effort. it. Please. We expect these women to to give and do and give and do and give and do and give, but are we making sure we the right kind of man for them to do the shit? A lot of niggas I want you to suck my dick. I want you to, to, to bend over. I want you to go to work. I want you to cook. I want you to clean. Meantime, I'm over here giving a half ass effort. Don't even talk. Don't even talk. <laughs> it's <laughs> not fair. It's not I'm not saying this shit to bash niggas. I'm telling y'all this shit because I have been there and I've, I've lived been there, it. Nigga, yeah. I've lived it. 
I can't tell you nothing. I'm passionate about it because I I know it's guys out here, bro, that go through the same things that we go through. That's going through the same things now. That's probably a young man out there or a young woman that got a relationship that's in a relationship with a man right now that that's going through the same shit. Like I'm telling you, sis, you can't change that man. Like either that man gonna change himself or you gonna have to let that man go and just hope that he evolves. Hope somehow. the man change. And if he don't change, he didn't love you enough to change him in the first fucking place. You didn't mean that much to him to change. That's just being real. A lot of niggas care more about other shit than what they actually care about that woman because they didn't set no... Ex- they didn't got everything out of you in already. <laughs> you didn't bent it over. You didn't suck them wrong. He at your house every day. You're cooking. You're cleaning. Snacks getting ate. Snacks getting ate. Jordan's getting bought. No. What he got to do? And he's been what does he have to do? Right. What <laughs> expectations does, uh, is this man? What What are you setting for this man? What is he setting for himself? Because he ain't setting shit. Because he he, he kept. He's a kept nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nigga late picking you up from work in your car. He late. For- <laughs> Bruh! Then put gas in it. Then put gas in it. Then on E. It was on full. We're going to make it. <laughs> no, I know your car. I yeah, know my yeah. shit. Exactly. I done did it. Wow. <laughs> I've done it. Mm-hmm. And it's like I can look at this woman now and. Boy, I could just feel the, the <laughs> yeah, nigga. I went through the, the, the smacks, the, <laughs> the gums, just grinding, you know. Just, but she, I know she feel me and everything that I say and why I put it out there because it's a reason. People need to hear it. People need to see it because it's out there. And shit, and folks don't talk about and it. Folks do not talk about it. So well, that's the main thing: making sure. We all talk about it. Take care of your women, y'all. Taking care of your women. Love your women, man. We got, well, hey, man. We got five minutes left. We got, hold on. We got oh. Miss Crystal. Uh, Miss Crystal has subscribed. I'm not going to say last name. Uh, uh, now, we're not going to say last name. Miss Crystal has subscribed to the page. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure we get, I want to make sure we get these subscribers right, man. Because that, that shit means the most. To hey, us. we thank y'all for yeah, liking and subscribing and sharing and spending your Friday y'all with us. I don't know. We y'all, thank you. Y'all could be out at the club turning up twerking, uh, but you, you stay here locked in with us and, and you made it happen. And you're probably somehow still at home twerking. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I believe so. That happens. It's, we got Miss yeah, Crystal that's like the page. Deal, so, you know, they get down. Miss <laughs> Crystal has liked the page, Shell has liked the page. Man, we're getting a lot of love from everybody. Um, we we appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So for real, for real. I mean, a lot, man. We were putting this shit out here to make sure uh, real men talk about real things. Real man. shit. <laughs> real <laughs> life <laughs> on this orderly conduct. Oh, and my man. brother, Gabe, GB, I thank you for coming in, man. Holding it down yeah, like you did, pleasure, bro. Oh, like okay. I said, man, anytime you want to come through, bro, just let me know. Come through. Oh yeah, man. Come through, bro. Come, Come chill out. Again, Come chill out. You ain't yeah, doing that. Man. You see, we over here just chilling, talking, man, making right. it happen, podcasting. Okay. How it go? So, uh, make sure y'all like and share the page. If you have subscribed to it yet, man, make sure you uh you tuned in to to everything that we got going on. You're locked into the social media. It's all this early coming to get entertainment. We'll be back with y'all next Friday. 7.30 p.m. ish. As always, www.disorderconductentertainment.com. You can catch the latest and the greatest podcast on there, too. Hey, uh, Disorderly Conduct, goddammit, we building, y'all. Before we go, if you like the shirt, then I'm probably getting you one so we can be twins, goddammit. Print fresh, it's my shit. All right. Renard Pryor, find him on Facebook. He got all your shit for you. But it's a good ass Friday night. Game, goddamn, we had a good ass time. Great time. We we broke the internet, y'all. Okay. Uh, Facebook did not like this shit. The wifey subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh, wifey, we appreciate you, you Miss Ronica. Yeah. 
Hold it down. We appreciate you. Thank you. Good one. <laughs> For real. <laughs> As always, man, it's the Kings of Content. Uh, tune in next Friday. Uh, we'll be back. Make sure you check us out, man. Tomorrow, the man listen moment of the week, Little Rock, Arkansas, Streets 101.1 from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. We on there, got our man listen moments, man. Make sure you check that out, listen to that. Some great quality content. Make sure you buy one of these fly shirts. You can get these shirts for... $20. Makes a great Christmas gift. A oh, man listen shirt and a speak life shirt? Come on now. You can get, we got a Black Friday deal going on still. Black Friday, you can get two shirts for $20 a piece. That's the damn deal. We appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> we build. <laughs> <laughs>